Hi, let's get started here. Let's select Pantovision. And up pops our Pantovision screen. We'll select uh, Start Pantovision. It will bring up our Pantovision desktop, which is right here. It has everything you need to get started. The first thing we're going to do is select our quilt size. We'll go to Settings, select Dimension, input uh, the width and the depth of our quilt. For this example, we're going to use 36 inches. Press OK, go to the depth, select 45 inches. Press OK, press Accept, and now our quilt is sized. Look at our desktop again, and we can um, home our machine, which um, will take our machine to the upper right hand corner of the quilt top and press Home. Now we want to see um, that full quilt there, so we'll press full, full view and that brings our grid, shows the 36 by 45 inches. We want to add a pattern to that. We'll go to the plus sign, add or remove patterns, and it will bring up our pattern library. The default is set to search. We'll leave it at that for now and we can scroll through and see um, all the patterns that are in our pattern library. No more going through paper patterns. What a joy. You can also choose the other options. One would be match any check tag. Here I could um, put a check mark on feathers and I would find all the feather patterns that I have in my library. That requires um, setting some tags which we'll go over at a later time. It just makes looking for <coughs> um, said patterns a little easier. Once we have our pattern in there, we'll just press um, uh, OK. So now what we want to do is uh, double click our pattern which drops it onto our pattern pad. Uh, unhook it from our needle, which we just dropped the little claws. And I'm going to select the pattern, which act opens up all these little windows. I want to uh, resize that. So we'll go to the two boxes, and up pops a, pops, a, pops a prompt, and we can input the size we want that pattern to be. We're just going to use 5 inches for now, but we're maintaining the ratio. We'll preview that. If we're happy with that, we'll press Accept. And now we have a 5-inch pattern. And you can see the width and the height up there on top of the pattern pad. Remember, we maintained the ratio, so it may be off just a skosh. Let's add some more repeats to that. So we'll just check, put, um, keep clicking the Add Repeats button, and it links them all together, which is pretty cool move that into place. We have too many, so we'll just use the button next to it that says less repeat. And continue working that and dragging your pattern over. And there, that looks just about right. So now we've got a whole row. How easy is that? We can add more rows. We'll just go to the copy. And it copied that row or you can go to the two boxes. You have two options for that as well. You can go to the edit and the copy. That also copies that row. And you can also move that row around by uh, attaching it to your needle, which is just to touch up the claw button again. When it's open, that means it's attached. Let's drop it. When it's closed, it is free to move around. So we'll add several more rows and fill up that entire quilt so we know exactly how many rows it's going to take to create that quilt. 
maybe one more. Go to the copy button, drop it, move it in place, and there you have it. You have just set up um, an entire quilt. So easy as that. Um, now congratulations, you have just set up your quilt grid, added a pattern, turned that pattern into a pantograph, and laid out your entire rows. Have fun! Thanks for watching! And um, we'll get into lots of other options at a later time.